example of a positive right. It's social engineering. I could go on and on about this, right? And then there's nationalism, of course, which I'll talk much more about next time, right? When you start thinking about nationalism, what happens is that the state has all sorts of reasons to want to organize people down below for administrative reasons, for economic reasons, for military reasons. The state gets in the business of doing social engineering in a big way, right? When you think about nationalism, the state is interested in creating a coherent nation and it wants that nation to be loyal to the state. That involves doing all sorts of things of an administrative nature, again, of an economic nature and a military nature. And of course, with nationalism, people in the nation have a certain loyalty to the state. This is the nation state. The nation has loyalty to the state. And the end result of that is that the state is expected to do things for the nation, for the people. And of course, you're, if you're in a liberal democracy like the United States, politicians who promise to do all sorts of things for people tend to get elected over those who promise not to do big things for people. So in a liberal nation state like the United States that undergoes the Industrial Revolution and then fights big wars, 